What's up everyone? My name is Morsi, and if you're new to this channel, I help others step into the present moment and heal themselves. And today, I, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you know what? You clicked on this video. So clearly this is something you need to hear. Let go. There's something better. You're either going to receive what you want or you're gonna receive far better. There's this field of infinite possibilities, yet you're trapped in the, the confines of limited thinking, controlled by the prevailing thoughts within the mind. There's so much more. There's so much more beyond what you know, beyond what you think. You see, that's the energy you have to keep each day as you're moving, as you're taking one step at a time. You see, if you feel like what you want is elusive, it keeps slipping out of your hands, more than likely you're trying to control too much. You're trying to determine each and every you know, path and event that needs to happen in order to get what you want. That's not your job. Your job is not to, to fit events to make them all happen. I mean, there is a, a, a set of, of, you know, there's a little bit of control where you have there, but not the ultimate, right? We're co-creating with the universe. The universe is, is making things happen. It's, it's at its own vantage point, making things happen. And you're here, right? This is your goal. This is your primary, primary okay, job. Focus on what it is you want in your life. Not just the vision, okay, but the feeling. The feeling is powerful. As long as you hold that feeling, the feeling of peace, the feeling of joy, the feeling of contentment, as long as you hold that and keep that within you, that is exactly how you are gonna attract what you want. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to take action, right? We're talking conscious manifestation, but primarily, it is focusing on what it is that you want. So you don't allow fear to slip in. You don't allow doubt to slip in. The reason why you're having trouble letting go is because there's some doubt. There's some doubt that it's not gonna work out, so they, you gotta control everything. See, this is when we get into shaping reality versus accepting reality. Acceptance of reality is when you join in with the present moment, you join with the flow. You realize that, you know what? Life is not a problem that needs to be solved, okay? It's a reality that we experience. So I accept. Now shape, we're master manifestors. <laughs> we are meant to create our own reality. But when you put these two together, shaping reality and accepting reality, you're invincible. Each and every day, you are living present in the moment, accepting reality, whilst being aware enough to know how to shape it consciously to know how to use the thoughts in the mind without thoughts using you. Let go. There's something better. Life is filled with so many twists and turns. And I, I know when I understand that you know, the uncertainty can feel scary. Here's, I wanna share a story of, of how I chose to let go and how I received something better. Before doing this, before even discovering my passion, my purpose, like all of this, what I'm doing now that makes me feel the most at peace, at joy, recognizing my essence no matter my outer circumstances before i even got to this place 
I thought that I wanted to have my own Amazon business. <laughs> Sell things on Amazon, right? Passive income. I did a whole bunch of research on that. I took many courses so I could, you know, get the steps together. I was working with, with other people. But this minor little accident just turned the whole thing around. We were doing so well. And then within, you know, within the steps of that, something was messed up. And all my plans and all my goals for it, it just slowly dwindled. Everything I thought that I was going to do just started crashing down. And I was like, wow, great. Lost a lot of money, right? But there was something better for me. I was not meant to, to do Amazon. I wasn't meant to do something where my voice wasn't heard. My perspective wasn't shared. That was not the reason why, why I came here. But at that time, I didn't know. All I knew was I wanted to live comfortably, right? Like many of us do. I wanted to educate myself. I wanted to build financial wealth. I didn't wanna make the same mistakes I made before. That's all I knew. When it was all happening, there was resistance, but there was something within me, a deep inner calmness, a peace. It was weird. Something that, you know, was new. I felt it once before, but it came up again. Like everything was gonna be all right. Like everything's gonna be all right. I still had no idea that I would get into wanting to share spiritual truths about the present moment on YouTube, on social media, coaching others, dedicating my life to this. I had no idea, I had no clue. All I knew was everything's gonna be okay. It was that, that deep inner peace and calmness which was essentially me, essentially you. And I allowed that to guide me. I allowed the promptings of my own soul, of my own spirit to just guide me. Step by step, letting go. There's something better. After a while I thought about it and I was like, I don't really want to do that anyways. It's not, it wasn't even as fun as I thought it was, you know? The, the process wasn't that fun. Everything was like, just not enjoyable. That's all I'm saying. You know, the end goal was fun. The end goal was cool. Like, wow, passive income. Wow, I can be on my laptop, on a beach, chilling, on vacation. Wow. But life was like, listen, you can get that, but just in another way. I call those things accompanying attributes, right? They come along with what you want to do. When you feel joy, when you feel peace in the process, when you let go, when you accept reality. I still think about that time to this day because it is what led me to here. I learned so much from that that got me here. I realized that this is what I want to feel every day. I don't want to strive. I don't want to do things inauthentically. I want to truly love what I do every day. Wake up fulfilled. Go to bed fulfilled every day. That is what I want for my life. That is what I want. True success. I let go. I found something better. I had to shift my consciousness. I had to recognize success in a different way, a different way that was fed to me. That's what happens when you need to let go. You have to shift out of that state of consciousness that placed you in that, in that place that brought you there. It brought you there, oh, I wanna hold on so tight. We gotta shift, we gotta move. We need to go to a, a different vantage point so that you can recognize, hey, I could just let go. I don't need to do this. I can relax. I can chill. Life is working for me. You see, life is so much better when you, when you choose to join the flow of the present moment rather than judge it or resist it. We do, we have the ability to shape reality. But reality is, is so much 
easier to create our own reality, inner reality, especially an outer reality when we learn to accept it. And this just takes experience. You're gonna make a whole bunch of mistakes. Maybe not as huge as mine, <laughs> or maybe you will, or maybe you have already. But those are those moments that guide you through these current times. Life is all about experience. It's all about experience. It's all about making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. The moment you learn from a mistake, it's not a mistake anymore, it's a lesson. It's knowledge gained, wisdom earned. Now it's much easier to step forward. Now it's much easier to step into these places of uncertainty. Uncertainty is much easier to step into when you can feel the certainty within you, the contentment, the joy, the knowing that everything is going to be okay. Let go. There's something better. So put out there that you're ready to shift to a higher state of consciousness that allows you to understand what it means to let go how you need to let go within your life. Join the flow. My name is Morsi. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like down below. Tell me if it helped. Tell me if it gave you a little push, a little encouragement, a little inspiration for letting go and knowing that there's something better. Sending you love, sending you peace. Live in a state of gratitude. Until next time, peace.